when we had Georgia, um, I had a terrible delivery. It was awful with mm-hmm. Georgia. And I went, too bad, lady. You got to do it one more time. You did. Got, yeah. You were like, I'm doing it no matter what. Yeah. I had a tough one, too. What, did, what happened with you? Um, my epidural was botched and I had a spina. <gasps> so oh. I lost. I was completely paralyzed oh from the waist gosh. down. So couldn't feel anything. Couldn't push. Had no control Nothing. over anything. And then when the epidural would wear off, I would go to full pain immediately. <gasps> So oh my God, that's I pushed, awful. I vomited, I pushed. How many, how long? I physically pushed for two and a half hours. Oh my gosh. And they were about to take me to surgery and then uh, they like suction twisted her out. I told her. So you didn't her. have to have a cesarean. No, I didn't. Mm. I made it happen. But for two and a half hours, I went from complete paralysis to full pain that's over crazy. and over and over and I've over. never even heard of that. It happens to 1% wow. of women in childbirth in retrospect do you wish you would have just done a cesarean or no 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 i don't think so um no i don't know yeah no i think so much happens when you go when the baby goes to the birth canal it triggers so much healing right that i think that was good um and yeah no it would that i'd just not do the spinal (laughs) yeah the second one i was like hold on before you give me this epidural this happened last time mm-hmm. and it was perfect. It was the easiest thing I've ever done. So what did they do different? Uh, f- was it their fault? It was their fault. Oh, it was. Yes. Okay. Um, apparently everyone's epidermis mm-hmm. in their spinal column mm-hmm. is slightly different in depth and thickness. Mm-hmm. And mine apparently is not as oh. thick as standard, uh, so to speak. Okay. So they just pierced it. And what happened then when you have a spinal is your spinal fluid then leaks, which is what cushions your brain. brain. Mm-hmm. So for 10 days, I had to lie down. Mm-hmm. Anytime I would raise my head, the pain was so bad. Oh my gosh. I actually, I went past feeling pain into like outer body experience and I'd hear myself whimpering. Wow. Like, ah. and then I'd lay back down. Um, the only time I ever got up for 10 days was to go to the bathroom. Luckily, my aunt is a nurse in Georgia, a labor and delivery nurse. And she was with me for the oh, birth of that's Georgia. Nice. And she just took her and went, here's what's about to happen. Mm-hmm. This is going to be terrible. Mm-hmm. I'm going to bring you medication. I'm going to bring you a baby to put on the boob. Mm-hmm. She doesn't even know she's on the planet for two weeks. Don't worry about it. Mm-hmm. Sleep and get better. Rest. This hole in your spinal co- column has to heal. Takes about 10 days. Did you have to stay in the hospital the whole no, time? No, I did not. Oh, okay. They sent me home mm-hmm. and I was able to be home. But thank God for my Aunt Diane, because she literally would come in with the baby, put her on the boob, take her. And I just wouldn't see and her. And also just having somebody with that knowledge. Oh, yes. I mean, what a relief. Yes. You Georgia know? was jaundiced. So she was like, she took hey, care of all that's that. so common. Yeah. Isn't it? But she did it. I didn't do anything. <laughs> yeah. I laid in the bed. Yeah. And just like whimpered. Yeah. Every time I sat up. It's so funny, too. She handed me my last Vicodin. And she went, okay, here's what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. You're about to get really angry. Mm-hmm. It is the drug. Mm-hmm. It is normal. Mm-hmm. You need about 36 to 48 hours. Mm-hmm. You're just going to be really mad. Mm-hmm. Don't worry about it. I got the baby. Mm-hmm. Be mad all you want. But you got to come off the Vicodin. Oh, my gosh. And I was like, why don't they tell people this in the hospital? Totally. Why don't they just say, here's what's about to happen. Yeah. <laughs> Your head's going to spin around and you're going to start shooting pea soup out. It's I mean, okay. I, I'm, I'm sure you appreciate that. I mean, I would so much, much rather like... Lay it down for me. Yes. Don't soften anything. Just tell me what it is and then I can deal with it. Yes. You know? Here's how it's going to be. Yeah. These 10 days are going to suck. Yeah. And now two more days are going to suck. Yeah. But then you're out of it. Right. And it was, she was right. Yeah. Thank God. So after all of that, I still was like, I got to have one. You're more. a trooper. I can't. That you still wanted to have a second one. I don't know if I would have. <laughs> well, part of me went, what is the likelihood of that happening again? Right. It's not very likely. Right. So let's just go ahead because I've already taken care of. Maybe not the worst case scenario, right. but definitely not the most fun. Right. So let's take care of that's that's off my plate. We're right. just gonna assume that's off my plate and hope for the best. And Isla literally was like delivering a feather. It was. She just went boop. And I was that like, was oh, it. Baby. One of those. Yeah. I'm so jealous of people that are like that. I've had friends like that that are like went in, boop, out. You yeah, know, no biggie. Yeah, no biggie. That was the second one. <laughs> the first one was like, holy shit. How about you? You had a hard time the first one? Well, time? I had preeclampsia. What so is that? That is um, high blood pressure onset yes. by pregnancy. Yes. And okay. um, I don't know why, like now when I look back at it, I was kind of oblivious at how serious it is. Mm-hmm. I almost feel like it was like a protective mechanism in my brain so that I wouldn't stress out. Mm-hmm. Um, and my doctor, the 
put me on bed rest. So I was supposed to just rest, <sighs> you know. For how long? For the last two and a half months. Jesus. Yeah. And I was like, that ain't going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know who I you're talking to. Still. No, yeah, no, 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 no. That Ever. Would, that would be terrible. Yeah. Did you terrible. do it? A little bit. I mean, I worked from home instead of going into the office, you know. Um, and then one morning I woke up and I couldn't see out of one of my eyes. Oh, no. So I called the doctor and he goes, oh, you need you need to come down to the hospital. You know, he's super calm. So I told Brian, I go, OK, we got to go down. They're probably going to check me out and send us back home, you know, because this was still we still had uh, four weeks to go, you know. So we go down to Cedars and. They are like, oh, we're taking this baby. Oh, I mean, no. literally, like I was in, they, and I had to have a cesarean right there. They were afraid I was going to have a stroke. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's yeah. scary. It was super scary, but you don't feel anything. I felt right. great. Yeah, totally. You know what I mean? I didn't feel, because that's how high blood pressure is. Yeah. I had no idea. And then um, I still didn't have full vision in my eye for two months after he was born. But fortunately they found out that it was muscular instead of neurological. Oh, so if it was good. neurological, that would have been bad. Yeah. So I was able to like do exercises and stuff. And then I came back. How crazy. I know. It was really crazy. That's I've never heard of that. Yeah. Before, ever. I know. And I was just oblivious. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they're just going to send us home. Yeah, like, totally. No big deal. <laughs> this is not a problem. <laughs> Isn't it great that that's your attitude? Right? I guess so. Yeah, I would have been the same way. But I also think back, and I was like, "You dummy!" I know. I'm the same way. When the pandemic started, I would be doing stuff, and Bert would be like, "What are you doing? Yeah, you're putting us all at risk." And I'm like, "What are you talking about? Yeah. I'm just like walking in the yard or yeah. something." That I have yeah. no clue. No clue. It's because I have no anxiety. Yeah. No. I mean, people die from what I from what I had. Sometimes, like it's you or the baby. Really? Yes. I. I mean. I have a my old business partner, one of her really good friends here in Encino at the hospital. Yeah. She the mom didn't make it. The baby survived, but the mom didn't. Oh my god, how but terrible. I just and I know I like read some. Yeah. I don't I really feel like it was my brain just like protecting me. Just saying Because oh, that's I'm really fine. not my personality. Like I want to know everything about everything. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. And so I think it was just like to not stress me out or something. A mechanism. You know? Yeah, somehow. a mechanism of some sort. Mm-hmm. 